hope you get to hear me now. Hi, I'm Scott Meander, and I'm going to introduce you to this region bounded by these two functions. Y equals x squared minus 4, which is this parabola at the bottom, and y equals 3x minus 4, which is the line on the top. Alrighty. <laughs> we're gonna find okay, we're gonna find the volume of the region by rotating it about the y equals negative five. And we're gonna be using the washer washer method <laughs> because typically a, yeah, a region with two functions has two radiuses. Oh, you can see it there. <sighs> and to to do the washer method, we're gonna be taking a big circle and taking away a small circle from it. We're going to be using pi r, the integral of pi r squared minus pi r squared. But the hard part is going to be finding a way to express big radius and little radius. Scott Meandrin here. Let's continue the problem. To get my big radius, I found that adding 5 to the function will do the trick. Follow me over here. So, here's my y equals negative 5 line. I'm trying to get this radius right here. Turns out, if I just use the function, it's going to get me a negative value. Like over here, it will tell me negative 2. But if I add 5 to it, then it will get me negative 2 plus 5, which is roughly this radius, which is 3. Same thing is true with the top function. If I, if I was to just plug in the function, I'm going to get roughly 0.5 or something. But in order to get this radius, which is clearly 4.5, I add 5. Same thing is true if you're above the x-axis. This function is going to get me something, let's say 3. That would be 3 right here. But I need another 5 in order to get 8, because the radius to rotate around y equals negative 5 will be 8 in this case. Same thing would be true for the line. So, let's go back here. Get over here, cameraman. So adding 5 to my function ended up expressing the two radiuses that I need in order to do the washer method. <laughs> Same guy here. Alrighty, so I went ahead and plugged in the functions. My big radius happened to be the line. So I did the line function plus 5, and then the parabola function plus 5. If you get over here, get over here. If you look at the picture, the big radius happened when you uh, added the, uh, when you used the line, and then the smaller radius was happening when you used the parabola. So let's go back right there. So I made sure I add 5 for the reasons I already mentioned, and then I just simplified a little bit to make it look a little nice and pretty. So minus 4 plus 5 is 1. <coughs> Minus 4 plus 5 could give me 1. And then you can use a graphing calculator. I know that you guys know how to do it. Or you can just do it by hand real quick. So I went ahead and squared that, which is this, minus. You square that, you get this. I forgot my DX. <laughs> it's embarrassing. And then you just pretty much put stuff. So I have an x to the fourth, so negative x to the fourth. And then I have an x squared right here, and x squared right here. So that's 9 minus 2, which is 7. And then I have an x, so that's plus 6x. And then I have a 1 minus 1, which is just a 0, dx. And then from here, we just do a simple integration. By the way, by the way, I forgot to mention, our intersection of the two graphs is 0 and 3. If you look right here, it was, intersection was happening at 0, negative 4, and at 3, 5. So I used my x values because I'm making vertical slices. The x is vertical, the y would have been horizontal. Let's go back over here. So, doing my integral, this right here would be negative one fifth x to the fifth. This one will be seven over three x to the third. And that will be six over two x squared. And if you just plug in three and zero. I will not insult your intelligence in assuming you don't know how to plug in values in there. But you simply add, you just simply plug in 3 right here, get some kind of value, minus, because that's how the fundamental theorem of calculus works, 
when you plug in zero, which is just zero. So essentially, just plug in your three and you're good. That is it. This is how you find the volume using the washing method of a region that's rotated around y equals negative five when the region is bounded by two different functions. I hope you guys enjoyed that. All right, so Scott Meander is here. And last time we worked on this subject, it seemed pretty easy. It seemed like I didn't even do it. Let's cross that out. Today, we are learning about rotating about uh, y equals 6, which is above our region. And our problem is x squared minus 4, our y equals minus 4. I think it's pretty washers. So like I did yesterday, or before, we have the small radius, which is from the horizontal line to the line. To the line. And then from the horizontal line to the parabola is a bigger radius. All right, so these are washing methods. We need a big radius and a small radius, which I already found out here. So, we need from our y equals 6, or our big radius, to come down to our parabola. And to, to get that big radius, we need to find out what this distance is, which is just going to use our function. And to get our distance above it, all we need to do is do 6 minus our function. Now we need our small radius, which is what we already found out here as well. And to make that, similar to our big radius, all we need to do is subtract y from our line. Oh, hi there. Let's see. Alright, so here, this is where we left off. And we just need to simplify our squares, which we got x to the fourth minus 20x squared plus 100 for this section. And for this section, we got 9x squared minus 60x plus 100. And now we're up here. Now we just need to simplify it even, even further. We just bring down the x to the fourth. Then we got ne negative 29x squared for these two. And then we keep the negative 60, or positive now, 60x. And our hundreds just cancel out. Yeah. Alright, you guys can finish this. Scott Mandarin, out.